Welcome to PeopleSoft vs Oracle Cloud Comparison Tutorial. I am Siva Khoya and this is the third episode in this series. If you ask me, what is the one tool that I cannot live without when supporting any ERP application? I would say SQL Query Tool. Spoiler alert guys, the way to query data is completely different between PeopleSoft and Oracle Cloud applications. In this episode, I am going to introduce you the tools provided by both applications to query data. If you are ready, let's get started. Let's start with PeopleSoft application. Before querying the data from a table, let's understand how to find the table and column names related to the data I want to query. I'm on the supplier page. Let's say I want to query the classification data for all the suppliers. Like I said, the very first step is to find the table and column name behind this data field value. There are two ways to find these values in PeopleSoft. The easiest and quickest way is to leverage developer tools provided by any browser. Since I'm using Chrome browser, first I will click on Menu, More Tools, Developer Tools. Then I will click on Page Element Selector option and place the cursor on the data field value that I want to query. I will click on it. Then you see this highlighted area. I will look for the division class on top of the highlighted area and look for ID. Here the ID starts with table underscore column value. Since now we know the table name and the column name that we want to query, let's query the data. Before we move on, the second obvious way of finding the table name and column name is by using App Designer. I will press Ctrl Shift J to find the page name. Now I'll copy the page name and I will use this name to open the page in App Designer. All I need to do is double click on my data field value. Here you can see the table name and the column name. Now I will click OK and navigate back to our front end to query the data. In order to query the data, I will navigate to Reporting Tools, Query, Query Manager. I just navigated to PeopleSoft Query Tool that Oracle provided to query data from front end in our PeopleSoft application. To create a new query, I will select Create New Query option and then search for the table name that we want to query data. I will select our record from the search results. Now I can either pick and choose specific column values that I want to query data or select check all to review entire table data. Now I will navigate to criteria tab. I will go ahead and add criteria and I will select set ID and I will make it as a prompt and I will make the prompt as optional. I will click OK. I will click OK. I will go ahead and add another criteria. This time I will select vendor ID field from the same table. I will also make this as a prompt value and I will click on new prompt and I will also make it optional and I will make it a prompt table. I want to validate the vendor ID against the vendor table. I will click on search button and select the vendor table. I will click OK and again OK. We are all set to run the query. To run the query and navigate to Run tab. Now we have two options. If I click on OK, we can see entire supplier data because we made both of these fields as optional. Or we can search for a specific supplier data. Let's start with that. And if I click OK, now we can see the data related to a specific supplier. If you want to view the data of all the suppliers, all we need to do is click on OK button. This is it guys. This is how to query data from the front end in the PeopleSoft application. I logged into the Oracle Cloud application. Just like how I did in the PeopleSoft application, I accessed data of a random supplier. Let's say I want to query tax organization type of all suppliers. Since both PeopleSoft and Oracle Fusion Cloud are relational databases, before I can query, I need to find out table and column name as we did in our PeopleSoft application. 
Unfortunately, unlike PeopleSoft application, there is no straightforward method in Oracle Fusion Cloud application to find out table and column name of the data elements that we want to query. It's not the end of the road. Oracle provided other ways to find out table and column names of the data elements that we want to query. The first way to find out is using FBDI template. Let's go search for FBDI template for the supplier. I will open the link and I will open the main supplier FBDI template. I will open the template. In this FBDI template, we can clearly see where the supplier master data is stored. It is POZ underscore suppliers table. Let's navigate to the second tab to figure out the column name. In our case, we want to know the tax organization type. I will enable editing and I will select on the column label. Here you can see the very first field says the column name organization underscore type underscore lookup underscore code. This is one way to find the table and column name. FBDI templates exist for all key modules. So it's easy for us to find out master tables of all key modules using FBDI template. The other way to find out table and column names is simply searching in Oracle Docs. Let me go ahead and search supplier master table oracle fusion and you can search for all tables and views and here we have database relational database models for all modules here i'll search for supplier model and here we can see the supplier master table as you can imagine some guesswork is involved here to find out table and column names of the data elements that we want to query since now you know how to find table and column names in Oracle Fusion application, let me show you how to query the actual data in Oracle Fusion application. Let me head back to Oracle Fusion Cloud application. I will click on Navigator and I will navigate to Tools and select Reporting and Analytics. Then I will click on Create button and select Report. Next, I will cancel the Report Creation wizard and here I will click on Add button beside Data Model and I will click on add button and select SQL query. Let's give a name to our query. Data source I will select FSEM. I will keep the existing default SQL type as standard SQL. Now I will go ahead and compose my SQL statement just like how I would do in two tire mode. And I will click OK button. And I will navigate to data tab and click on view button. Then I will select on table view. As you can see, only five suppliers are displayed because we have selected to display only five rows. If we change it to 200 rows and click on view button, 200 suppliers are displayed. If you want to add a prompt to our query, yes, that's possible. Let's select a supplier. We'll navigate back to our query, navigate to diagram. I'll select our query and click on edit button. And let's add a prompt where vendor ID equal to colon one, I will click OK. Then I will select the dynamic parameter. I will click OK. I will select the prompt as mandatory and click on view data. Here I will provide the vendor ID for which I want to pull the data and then click on view button and click on table view. As you can see, that specific supplier information is displayed from the table. All right, we just reached the end of this episode. In this episode, you saw how to query data both in PeopleSoft and Oracle Fusion Cloud application. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and sharing it so that others can benefit as well. I hope to see you in my next episode. Until then, keep learning.